It's National Coral Awareness Week, and researchers right here in our area are working hard to save the third largest barrier reef in the world. Fox 13's Catherine Hawley takes us to the Florida Aquarium's Center for Conservation. Scientists at the Florida Aquarium Center for Conservation are doing critical work with a mission to restore coral reefs. Inside a trio of coral greenhouses and specialty labs at the Apollo Beach campus, baby corals are being cared for and adult corals bred. We've been able to successfully hold them, keep them happy, and actually reproduce them to be able to create new genotypes to put out onto the reef track. The Florida Reef Tract has been devastated by stony coral tissue loss disease. Many of the 17 species at the center were rescued from the wild for protection. Researchers have successfully spawned 10 of those, working to give the threatened organisms more genetic diversity and a better chance to survive. And we provide them to partners who can do heat tolerance testing or disease resistance testing or can outplant. The work's been happening here since 2015, and there have been some incredible breakthroughs. In 2019, they were the first to successfully spawn critically endangered pillar coral in a lab. To have that success, and to then be able to raise those individual babies has, was a really big deal. Other major milestones include crossbreeding grooved brain coral, using specimens from the center and wild coral, combining frozen sperm with fresh eggs. Scientists have also had great success reproducing staghorn coral, one of Florida's most iconic species. So to see that full circle, of them actually becoming a functional adult and able to now contribute back to their species is a big deal for us. Those efforts result in hundreds of golden brown coral babies attached to tiles and shallow tanks. Our hope is that the next generation of corals can adapt and thrive and hopefully create a new coral structure that is needed in the Florida Reef Tracks. Thriving without help and putting seraphin out of a job. Katherine Hawley, Fox 13 News.